I just don't have time for the bullshit with these other. I don't blame you. Mongoloids. I don't blame. They are mongoloids. They're worse than mongoloids. They're fucking. They're savages. But they got a, they got the best teacher in the fucking world. That Melton. He's the trainer. He <laughs> trains all of them. I mean, yeah. that, that that everyone hates onions. Yeah, the onion guy. I mean, let Lou. Let's face it. Let, 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 let's I get mean, down to the logistics of it. This guy does the gayest fucking. You can look it up. You're showing videos. Put in the fucking in the browser. Patrick Melton's proposal when he proposed to his woman while he was doing a stand up gig. It's the gayest fucking proposal you'll ever see in the history. You can't miss this proposal. Hmm. And that's how I found out his weakness. And when he's been attacking me with my dead daughter, I went after him about his wife. Eight months or seven, eight months to the date of this big fucking proposal, she's out <laughs> sucking to get other guys cocked. <laughs> So, so, guy. Well, he's he's getting ready to get on his knees. She's been on her knees <laughs> somewhere the else. Fucking sending <laughs> pictures to Melton and what he's doing to his wife. Ah, oh. and, 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 mean... and he's one of Melton's sponsors for his show. Hey, you know I'm for everyone who likes to suck cock and shit. But... <laughs> but, I mean, it, I'm telling you, Jesus how Christ. is this guy a man? Uh, but if you go to Twitter right now, you could you guys could there. The clips are all right. You just got to hit the button. If, like you guys were showing, you want to show a couple of them. You got to show the ones. You just scroll down if you want to, if Lou wants to do it. You just go to the Twitter page and go down to my profile and scroll down. You see the titles with the Melton. 15 seconds of classic, man. This was Definitely when he ran and closed his show up. It was classic. That's when his fans, a lot of his fans gave me, gave me, finally showed me a little respect because they were, they chew me up every day. They, he sends the moles on me. And they come and they fucking yeah. It's, it sounds like it's been good for you in a way. Yeah, I'm. You know. I mean, in terms of uh, you know, you, you got tons of subscribers, man. I mean, you're growing yeah, it. I worked hard, but I got a lot of those from Michael Francisi. He, oh, okay. uh, I put he, sense. you know, I'm a member of his inner circle, and okay, uh, I, I'm, I've been with him for a long ever since he started. So I post it every day in the winter in, the, in their inner circle. Nice. Guys, come over and subscribe and like my channel, and a lot of them just did it because I'm a member. You know, oh nice. Uh, I think we got about fifteen hundred or eighteen hundred people just from that site. Joey sees and, uh, in the family. Yeah, I mean that just Michael put a word out there and, and they helped mm -hmm. me. But you know, he's got a million and a half subscribers. I was hoping I would got a half a million, but that didn't pan out too good. I got about mm -hmm. maybe a, a half a percentage of what he, what he's got, you know. Yeah, maybe but I'm time, still grateful though. for what he did, you know. Yeah, so. some people they don't they don't go into the area where they can subscribe. They don't like these people that he's got. They they don't like the, the the comedy dabble verse shit. They, these are all well to do people that are business yeah. people. So this is this is not Michael the don't age. even understand why I'm over here. He don't understand, but he don't you know he supports yeah. me whatever I want. But different I mean, world. he's a good friend. Mm -hmm. It's just it's crazy. But you know here's the best part, Lou. I know you've challenged a lot of people. So, when they come to me now, you don't want to fuck with the dabble verse. They will chew you up and I fuck the dabble verse. I tell them every day, go fuck yourself. Bunch of pencil, pencil, pocket pushing, fucking tape on your fucking glasses, good dweeb motherfuckers. That's what they are. That's what they need to make a meme of Joey C pinching a loaf onto the dabble verse. Oh, fuck them. <laughs> now they want me to be the mediator. They want me to be the guy that mends all the fences. They want to put oh. the dabble verse to a good. They think I got the character enough to to make KB and truly and everybody. KB is tough cock. Never, never, never will forgive Shuli. He hates that man. So KB will never forgive Shuli, huh? I don't think he'll ever, oh, ever sit down. You got a tweet here saying KB is a liar hack. Hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I go. He goes after me. I go after him. Yeah, KB. I got a couple of them. That's he was chewing me up for a couple of days. So I got back to his ass. That's when he was probably doing the baseball, saying I didn't work in baseball. Had to be. But the ones with Melton. I'm in oh, the so orange. K, uh, let me just take a guess. KB stands for Kevin Brennan. Yes. yes. Yeah. yeah that, that's, oh, yeah, okay. Kevin Brennan. But what? I like I said, I'm not in this for the. When I get monetized, monetized. You guys, monetized. Dude, whatever you should be monetized. monetized. You got a thousand subscribers. Yeah. Well, I'm almost there. I'm almost there. You got to get the hours in, right? You got. Like I said, if you guys take the time, you got to go down on that page and see the melting stuff. It's epic. Him and me Definitely. shouting at each other is fucking epic. And he Definitely. ran off his show. And that's when his fans go. You're running. You're leaving. You're gonna let this guy beat you. And he, I, he was actually crying. He, I, I had him in tears. <laughs> yeah, he, he, was, he was on stage like, giving a guy a blowjob to propose to his wife. He's a blowjob. <laughs> he's a Maybe, fucking blowjob artist. Yeah, he might have had some pain in his knees or something. You know, I don't know. Well, he's not pain. You know, he's fucking drunk. He's half the time he's drunk on a show, or he's uh, fucking weeded out. Now he's talking about bragging how he's on pain medication because. Uh, 
one of those big rich guys that give big super chats, uh, Chandler, David Chandler, mm. gives guys $1,000, 2000 hands it out like fucking candy. Mm-hmm. And he gave Melton $1,000 to go do his show from the hot tub, uh, half naked. Because I think Chandler is one of the weird fucking guys oh, that yeah. is I'll in pass the guys. On that. You know, so he gives thousand dollars out to all these guys to do weird shit. And he got off sunburn. So now he's taking pen medication. His excuse me, oh. he's on pain medication for a sunburn. That's Fuck a dark you. road. You're on man. pain medication, you're a hook fucking junkie. Don't say blame it on yeah. the fucking sunstroke. Okay. That's crazy. You're taking pain meds because you got a sunburn. Yeah, that's what, what claim pussy ass that's shit is that. That's exactly what I said. <laughs> exactly what I said. Mommy. They believe him. All his people believe him. Oh, Mommy, Melton, my sunburn guy. hurts. Give me yeah. some pills. Plain, the plain. Don't get sunburned. I have to have oh. one damn lotion. Oh, the pain, the pain. Hey, buddy, I'm how about Elizabeth? You go, go down to your little Walgreens and buy yourself some aloe vera and rub it on your body. <laughs> you know, my dad lived in Vegas for 25 years because, like I said, my dad wasn't around when I was a kid. But when I got to know him when I was an adult, he was ran out of Chicago. He was a, he was a crooked cop, my dad. 